Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Back to the Future, the game to get talent. So, sorry about last episode being so quiet. I didn't notice it and I can't be bothered to redo it. So, yeah. Um, let's walk around here. Dad must have used that to haul away all those books from Doc's estate sale. I think it's the front door that we need to press. Hey, anyone home? There's something wrong with my key. Please, not now. Tomorrow. Give me another day. Um. Another day? Dad, what are you talking about? Marty? No, that's impossible. Marty was run out of town. I've got a bad feeling about this. Um. Run out of town? What are you talking about, Dad? Let me in. This is a trick. Go away. Leave us alone? Haven't we suffered enough? Mom. Um. Mom, it's Marty, Mom. Open up. It sounds like Marty, but it must be a trick. Mom! Go away. Shame on you. How can I convince you? Tell me something. Only Marty would know. Ah. Now for this... Um, for this, um, you need to know know the film, really. When I was eight, when I was eight years old, I set fire to the living room rug. That's right. Oh my lord, what are you waiting for, George? Let him in! Stupid locks. Marty! Oh my god, Dad! What happened to you? What do you think happened, butthead? Biff! I thought we told you to stay out of town, shrimp! Biff, whatever's going on, I'm sure we can handle it. Uh, reasonably. Who are they? Eh, like you don't know Cliff and Riff. What do you think we should do with them, baby bro? What we should have done years ago, big bro. I'm gonna enjoy this, McFly. Wait, wait, I'm, I'm trying to process here. For some reason I'm getting a lot of lag. Um, I'm not getting any now. Um, what can I edit here to not have so much lag? Oh, right, my quality is way up. Oh, there's advanced as well. Oh, advanced is way better. I have no idea what anti aliasing is. Um, guess I'll turn that down a little. We're still getting lag. <sighs> like so. Oh, perfect now. Where do these other tannins come from? From a mommy tannin and a daddy tannin. That's a biology the lesson. Birds and the bugs, butthead. Ooh. Beth. So now the tannins are some kind of minor league mafia. Hey, watch who you're calling minor league. The tannin gang's the fifth most dangerous crime family in California. We got connections all over the place. No way. You don't believe me? No! Bang! Ha ha! Check it out! To your family from mine, in gratitude for your continued service, J.J. Valenti. That's Don Valenti, godfather of the Sacramento mob. The third most dangerous crime family in California. Um... Tell me! Can't you pick on somebody else? We do! We pick on lots of guys! It's kind of our thing. I got a question. Look, can't we bury the hatchet already? Even better idea. I bury this nine iron up your backside. Oof. Hey! And another thing. Um. I 
did I get run out of town? Two years ago. Don't you remember? We made a deal that we'd go easier on your old man if you left. But now you're back, so the kid gloves can come off. Dodge left. Okay, but... What the hell did you do to my dad? Your dad's been in that wheelchair since before you were born, butthead. And you better hope he has a spare, cause you're gonna need one in like three seconds. Ooh. One more question. Biff, what happened to you? When I left here, you were kind of afraid, my dad. Afraid? <laughs> <laughs> no Tannen ain't never been afraid of no McFly. I have no idea which way I need to go now. Ooh. Oh, this way Here's what I still don't understand. What about my mom? I mean, how did she end up with my dad? Beats us. Guess she has a thing for losers. She could have had any one of us, but she went for old Gimpy McFly. <coughs> oh! Here's what I still don't understand. How long have you been coming down to my dad like this? Ever since that school dance, when Georgie laid Biff out in the parking lot. Uh, uh, shut up, it's not funny. Someone messes with the Tannen family, the Tannen family never lets him forget about it. And that's right. Okay, tell me no this. No more questions. Okay, how dumb are the Tannens really? A cake. I never should have let that floozy talk me out of rubbing out your grandfather. Huh? Kid? No one in Hill Valley messes with the Tannen family. Get in! This timeline's been compromised! No kidding! I was just about to say that. Somehow, something we did in 1931 allowed Kid Tan to escape his date with justice. As a consequence, the Tannins have been unchecked in Hill Valley for over 50 years. Ah, jeez. Rob the arcade? We've got to go back to the day Kid Tannen was supposed to be arrested. Figure out what went wrong and fix it. Otherwise, you could be forever stuck in a town owned by the Tannens. Not an option, Doc. Punch it. I think I'll end the episode about here, um, after the short clip, after the thing loads in. Okay, Doc, let's run through this again. Sometime tonight, Kid Tannen is supposed to be betrayed by his mole, the singer named Pixie Trotter. That hot babe I saw coming out of the speakeasy. Exactly. When she does, History says Tanner will be arrested by a rookie cop by the name of Danny Parker. Parker? Parker? Hey, do you think he's related to Jennifer Parker, my girlfriend? Could be. Heavy. In any event, somehow we've changed history so that neither of these events happens. Condemning your family to generations of abuse at the hands of a Tannen crime family. We need to go back into Tannen speakeasy, find out what's gone wrong, and get Kid Tannen arrested. No problem, Doc. Let me just put on my hat and I'm good to go. Is the mustache really necessary? It's essential. You can't let Kid know that you're the same troublemaker that foiled his attempt to kill me. Are you sure you can't come in with me? It's far too dangerous. You may be easy to disguise with your nondescript features, but ever since my daring escape from the police and the mob, my distinctive face has been plastered over every paper from here to Reno. Nondescript? 
I'll find a safe place to hunker down. That flop house ought to fit the bill. You can find me there if you need me. Okay, thanks for watching, and see you guys next time. Bye-bye.